Okay, so we have um, number two. It says create and extrude, extrude with a sketch provided. So I'm going to extrude this going up with a 1.35. Okay, um, in the positive y direction with a five degree of draft. So this is gonna be five degree of draft. And it says towards the, get smaller towards the extent. So we're going to go to smaller towards the extent. And then we're gonna extrude the bottom part as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a sketch here. And I'm going to project my geometry just to make sure I have my edges. I'm going back to 3D model and I'm going to extrude it the opposite direction at 0.675 with a degree of 10 degrees. And that's gonna be, let's make sure, yep, yeah, that's gonna go that direction, okay. And then hit okay. All right, so now it says add the cutout so it completely cuts through both sides with 10 degrees of draft. So the cutout gets larger in both directions. So we're going to go to face draft. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab the parting line. So draft in both directions. The pull direction is going to be upward. So it's going to pull up. The parting line is the, the parting tool is going to be this line sure it's right here okay and then the faces is going to be the top face and the bottom face and that's going to be at a 10 degrees and you're going to do that 10 uh three more times so this is going to be this is the line right here uh, parting tool oh no the pole direction is up the parting tool is this line and then the faces is going to be the top and the bottom face and 10 degrees. Hit apply. Rotate it going this way. Let's see. Okay. So the pole direction is up. The parting line is going to be this line. And the faces is going to be the top face and the bottom face. 10 degrees. Apply. And then the last part is going to be about right here. So let me move it down. So the pole direction is going to go upwards. The parting line is going to be the middle and the face is going to be the top and the bottom. 10 degrees and I'm going to hit OK. And that should, that should do it. Let me make sure. And then you can go to right click, eye properties, physical, and then click update. 